Here we'll look at the plant hormone tricantinol. And while this may be sold in powders for growers to use because of its many listed benefits in research, uh, be careful where you purchase those powders and exactly the concentrations you're using because it can have uh, very fast effects on plants and very variable effects that can also cause plant harm if you use too much of it, as with any hormone. So in general, where is it found? Well, it's found in the cuticle waxes and in beeswax, actually. It's a growth stimulant for many plants, so it works across many different plant species. Research has reported that it can improve growth and yield and photosynthesis and protein synthesis, uh, uptake of water and nutrients, nitrogen fixation, and enzyme activities. All these are great things that growers are always seeking for ways to improve. This is why this hormone, a tricantinol, abbreviated TI a has gotten so much attention. Now it can increase free amino acids and reduce sugars and soluble proteins in rice and maize within five minutes. So it's very fast acting. Also uh, being applied at nanomolar concentrations, that's very small concentrations. There's been reports within one minute of the roots and plants and shoots noticing an effect. So this uh, hormone in particular can work extremely fast. One to five minutes of application, there can already be a plant response. So that's important if you're looking at adding this to be very careful uh, because you can change the potential physiology of the plant very quickly. Some of the benefits though are that it can increase dry matter production, it could lead to an increase in secondary products, all great things. Uh, there's also strong evidence that application of tricantinol applied to either the root medium or the leaves enhance the growth and yields of vegetables and other crops, including agronomic uh, and horticultural crops, as well as medicinal and aromatic crops under normal and adverse conditions. So this is great um, potential research showing that this can help improve uh, the, the yield of crops with very small quantities. It can act very quickly in those crops. So this is why it continues to look at further research because while we, be, we may be noticing these benefits, particularly for vegetables, if it's something we're consuming, we want to make sure that it's tested and vetted through a proper process so that it's safe for human consumption.